Go to bed. Night night. You're a joke. Sweet drinks. <laughs>y'all but i had this bright idea that i'm going to make my pantry a little more aesthetically pleasing i blame it on tiktok i blame it on the kardashians but the flip side is the kardashians got folk to do this stuff for them the size more don't but i'm gonna start with the seasoning so i actually did some pre-work already i bought like tons of acrylics i'm not gonna tell y'all how many acrylics but let me show you what we work with so i have so i have i did an inventory of what seasonings i already have in my in my kitchen maybe we do need a light And so I've already done the now this looks a little gap.
to focus. Come on. I messed up the setting some kind of way, but anyway, that says red pepper flakes. So you put the labels on the top and then you put it on the front. And I've done that for quite a few. 5, 10, 15, 25, 30, 31. This one, I didn't put it on the top because it looked ghetto, as you can see there. So I need to add, because I just bought some more seasonings. Don't ask me why, as if I didn't have enough work to do already. But Ties, you're going to help me take this down. So I'm going to stop procrastinating and we're going to go ahead and get started. I was trying to wait for Danny, but Danny still is not feeling well. So I guess I got to take him for the team. It's on me. Ugh. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to show y'all before and I'm going to show you after. Those are always fun, right? Before and afters. This goes against my better judgment. I really like organizing, but I like to start with a clean palette. And I'm not starting with a clean palette because I got to throw away stuff. I throw away all the stuff in this little cabinet and then get busy. So let me show you the rest of these acrylics that I bought. Like we got stuff to do. We just ain't did it. So with Danny being down, baby, assignments get put on pause. Alright, let me go have my son. So this is not completely finished, but it is a start so i'm gonna redo this stuff once i clean out that cabinet and then i have an idea for these are like the um the extra seasonings that couldn't fit in those so as you can see it's like a sea of seasonings but tyson and i have moved on like we have moved on we are now in operation pantry don't judge me judge your mama so it wasn't like this originally but i just threw away i'll show you the trash bag tons of stuff that has been in here since moses parted the red sea so i'm just giving you a before now the aftermath will have a day as you can see we are operation containers you see that trash over there that was all food I know it looked like a dead body, but that was actually food that was in that cap, that pantry. And then I still have these acrylics. And then I bought some for the new refrigerator. Oh my gosh, I'm still at it. So this is just about towards the end. Don't mind her child. Please don't mind her. Um, yeah, it's a lot of containers. But it's coming along like, look at the drinks. Uh, come on, MTV Crib. <laughs> okay, so there's a blank canvas. So this is the extra stuff, like the refillable stuff. Refillable stuff. And this is not really organized, but I ran out of these. So we're just going to flow with it for right now. But I'm going to put these good labels on. Why is it a glare? Anyway, these labels. I'm gonna just go ahead and throw this stuff in the cabinet because I'm tired. Hey 
girl hey i know it's been a minute i've not picked up the camera i have been trying to enjoy the rest of my summer because it is vastly getting ready to come to an end but that's not an excuse i am getting prepared to go to harmony i don't know if i have introduced you all to harmony but that is one of my children's children child it is her one-year-old birthday so she bought a small towel why it's gonna be outside yes for real because i'm gonna be hot yes like in the in the, in the can grass? i grab a real small towel hurry up right and there. see if you can grab that scotch tape i don't know if it's in my room it's in that makeup room it's on that as soon as you walk in on the little dresser so we just I had a time i'm sure she probably has some of work. getting this dang on balloon in the car this is ridiculous. and Reagan said Harmony better scream when she see this gift because this was a task this was a task this is why I don't do children's parties I don't I said it I said what I said she don't and what about it It's all about presentation. It's not so much the give, it's the presentation. It's the presentation. Mark my words, it's the presentation. I don't know why I'm just now picking up this camera because I should have picked it up when I first started this decluttering, minimalizing, minima, minimizing foolishness. So I just cleaned out the linen closet I wish I could have shown you before I mean it wasn't horrible but there's three of these bags there's three so now I'm getting ready to show you the fruits of my labor hang tight and one two hey girl hey it is monday it is my last week before i go back to work yeah that came quick um i am on my way to run some errands i have a couple of returns so i need to go to tj max h and m um i don't know if i mentioned it in that vlog the Cancun vlog but I purchased a dress and it had a hole in it like <laughs> she still wore it however it did what it had needed to do that day I use room spray in the cars Danny like takes this car when he goes to work out then you get back in here sweaty and the seats are cloth Negro please funky anyway so i need to return that i need to pick up dry cleaning i need coffee i need coffee and i'm waiting on reagan's counselor to respond back to me before i run myself up to the lake to get this whole schedule situated so they gave her a lot of fluff classes reagan has three classes that she needs to graduate one two three mm -hmm. that's it three classes um so they gave her a lot of foolishness. So I need to get that squared away. And I want to get back and do the refrigerator. So I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I've been organizing, being a minimalistic, um, watching too many TikTok and IG pages because they will have you thinking you are Martha Stewart. Um thinking you're a chef a interior designer yeah it, they will sell you a pipe dream so I, I bought it I bought the dream I bought into the dream so now I've started this mess and now I gotta finish it so the last thing that I need to do well with this whole organization I did the linen closet which I showed you the other day I've done the pantry that was kind of fun i'm still working on that and then now i'm doing cabinets 
and the refrigerator. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Um, I need to know why y'all in the middle of the God blasted street. Like, make this make sense. Negro. Why is this car just sitting in the middle of the damn street? And I'm so extra, so you know I'ma stop, I'ma mean mug, I'ma look. Get out the street. Anyway, I'm back. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. A few errands and then get back to the house and finish organizing. Joy. Now this big truck is sitting right here and will get me murdered trying to get out my subdivision. I'm assuming that he broke down. It's not my ministry. Uh-oh. So I have made it to the mall and uh, look what greeted me. Rain. Anyway, this is a little H&M dress that I am returning. It's a little, just a little light thin flow not flowy but you know kind of carefree little dress it served its purpose in cancun um i've on flip-flops and i hate to be wet so i'm trying to see because if you notice the sky is bright over there so maybe this is gonna pass so i'm gonna just wait a second ain't got never time I'm gonna wait a second before I go in, but this is the other thing I need to return to. TJ Maxx is the little egg container. Now, why the top don't close? Like, it's cute. I need to return that. And get another one because I still need it. I think I might go to Target. Okay, so the last, I didn't tell y'all, and I should've took y'all. So the last time that I went to Target, I had to, I contacted um, corporate. Mm -hmm. I'm that girl, I'm that girl. So I called corporate. So I'm asking, why are the dressing rooms open? It's like two o'clock. Why are the dressing rooms not open? So one girl was like, oh, they're not cleaned. They're full of clothes. So I'm looking at her like, what does that have to do with me? Like, girl, you sound crazy. So I went over to the dressing rooms. Because I had walked away. I went over to the dressing room. Somebody else was over there and I asked her, why, is there a reason why the dressing rooms aren't open? Oh, uh, well, they're not clean. I said, well, that's a huge inconvenience. And I have corporate on the phone. I'm, I'm calling corporate as we're talking. So she was like, oh, yeah, someone had... Um, she said, this is what she said, someone had COVID and so they need to deep clean. I can respect that. But you lying. <laughs> You're lying. You're a liar. So I asked to speak to a manager. You know I did. Where's your manager? They sent me all the way across the Target instead of calling the manager, which I thought was kind of shady, but I was on the phone with corporate anyway, so I had time. So I'm telling corporate, like, they're not open and I need to know why. Like, this is not the first time this Target has not had their dressing rooms open. Unacceptable. Corporate called them up. The manager walks me back over. She's like, oh, I don't know why the dressing rooms are not open. Oh, so it wasn't a cold case? Oh, they ain't dirty? So your little workers is just lying? It's time for them to go back to school. It's time for your workers to go back to school. Because you're giving me Walmart vibes. And I told her, you guys are giving me Walmart vibes. Like, I'm, I'm not here for it. So she walked me over there and she was like, why are the dressing rooms open? She's asking the girls that. And she opened the dressing room. Ah! Oh my gosh, my drink almost failed. That would have been a catastrophe. Anyway, so... Then the, the first young lady who told me that the dressing rooms were closed because of um, because they weren't clean or whatever, not the COVID case, girl. So she came over, like I after I tried on my clothes or whatever, I continued to shop. And she came over to me and she was like, um, was I rude to you? And I said, oh, no, not at all. You were very pleasant. Like She was like, oh, because my manager said that you said I was rude. 
now here we go putting words in my mouth no i didn't sweetie i said actually both of you were very pleasant you're both pleasant i didn't like your answers i said and hopefully i didn't come off as being rude to you and she was like no so i don't know what they was doing child but they need to go back to school they didn't make their little sum of money going back to school and get some more custom service training child all right this rain it is so crazy because that sky is blue 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 it is not raining over there actually the sky is blue on that side too so it's not a hard rain and i do have an umbrella but i don't want to hold an umbrella in my drink so i'm away today and let mother nature do what she do boom, boom, boom. i'm a visionary i got the niggas scared mm. bought a big paddock with a brand new wrist set mm. inside a new maybach cooked in a butter jelly mm -hmm. i'm sliding the road sliding let me slide in the bin been working on my confidence and respect i get a lot of it i don't ever mean to contradict if it's up then it's up with us trying to pour another cup with us see my brother sitting mud with me just a 10, my dad in the wind, I fucked at the wind My dog just caught another body, now he's popping his hand, he's a key Caught his ass living at the cul-de-sac, sliding on the island, toe tag Just in Miami, I was chilling with the souls at In the Rose Race, I don't need a low jack Keep the 45, I had to hold it Gotta ride with it, cause I'm chosen I just pulled up, won't let me land Plus the dice with mustard, bet it on the photo team I remember wondering what I'm gonna eat Pull up that Bentley with no key I've been on top for a while I'm a visionary. I got the niggas scared. Mm. Bought a big patty with a brand new wrist set. Mm. Inside a new Maybach coupe in a butter jelly. Mm. I'm sliding the road, sliding the lamp, sliding the bin. Been working on my confidence and respect. I get a lot of it. I don't ever mean to contradict. If it's up, then it's up with us. My See me on my love Niggas talk shit but they never have a noise If it was black folks moving my room Oh, your shit would have been out the hallway <laughs> Outside Broke In the rain it was about to throw down. And then they would have stole They would have yep, stole They would have took your Gatorade They would have took all my little snacks yep. My little noodles All your stuff Yeah, they would have got me White folks Oh, I put everything in a box <laughs> I didn't disconnect anything <laughs> And it's all nice and neat And it was That's how I make one I'm a visionary I got the niggas scared Bought a big paddock with a brand new red set. Mm. It's like a new Maybach coupe in a butter jet. Mm. I'm sliding the road, sliding like I'm sliding the beam. But working on my confidence and respect, I get a lot of it. I don't ever mean to contradict. If it's up, then it's up with us. So, Reagan and I just bought these drinks. How much? $15 for a frozen Coke with no alcohol. You got them. Somebody's coming. Hey, Tay Tay. Hey, Tay Tay. Are you here?
down is very deep, that man know a lot But not enough to keep me past the streets My life is a plot, twisted from directions that I can see Daddy issues, fall across my head Told me fuck about, I'm teary-eyed Wanna throw my hands, I won't think out loud If you say go dance, worry up, it's no jam Sign your teeth and drop a seat First one to get killed People just don't want to go to sleep. So that's why you just got to tell them, go to bed. Night, night. You're a joke. Sweet drinks. But, you know, sometimes that don't work. And, mommy, look, my skin peeling. Because you're a snake. Get off my phone. Videotape it. Huh? Kennedy, don't you break it. Uh-uh. Kennedy, did you like my, did you like it? We're so proud of you. You'll never see it.
turns into gunplay, gunplay, turns into pillow talk. So dinner is served. So I got blackened salmon with lemon and herb sauce, um, roast, wait, some kind of mushrooms, and potatoes. Let's see what we're working with. Danny got Brussels sprouts, charred Brussels sprouts, and broccoli and salmon. So how was your meal? It was actually really good. Everything was good. It was, it's seasoned very well. This is the spot that I would come back to. Um, I'd recommend. And the vibe is okay. I mean, the aesthetics is okay. But the food is good. So. We are the Kroger Park a lot. Where are we? Uh, Kroger Park a lot. <laughs> this is true. And then they got the nurse at Patio City. I'm like, what? I'm going to order DoorDash? Those two to go? Thank you. So. The dessert your favorite menu. Pie? Ooh, I should have got an espresso martini, but see, the last time it was nasty. Yeah, that's, that sticky toffee pudding sounds so doggone good, but ice cream will melt. Dates? Date cake. Do you think it's actually a the fruit date cake? Maybe not. Maybe it's a nickname. Yeah, because that's not how you spell date, so you're right. Day cake, bourbon, toffee, caramel sauce, espresso ice cream. Sounds good. Oh, it Sound like a toothache. Sound like a toothache. Yeah. It's out on the pounds I lost back on me. And gelato and sorbet. Gelato. Kennedy was like, oh my god, you got gelato. She's like, gelato is so good. That's all she's talking about. I've never tried it, so I don't know. Well, I wouldn't, this would be the first place I want to try it. So. Um, probably not. Not at a seafood restaurant. Yeah. So it's, it's Clark and Schwiznicks. Schwiznicks. Um, how's the key lime pie? Is it box? It's in a box. It come in a box. Okay. I'll try it. I'll try it. You can put it in a to-go box though. And then, just, and then just bring a fork. You can put it in a to-go box and just bring a fork. So, I'm thinking about this, um, this sticky toffee pudding. You want to try it with me? You can get it. Are you, oh, you going to try it with me? I mean, I'll, I don't, I'll just get it. You want nah. it? Nah. I'll just eat some of your kilo. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'll share it. I'll try it. The sticky toffee pudding. Nothing else, eat ice cream. I gotta take it home. I like this food. I have to see it. You can see it from the side of the set, from the back of his back. I'm just not a beard person. But, like I said, I wouldn't grow it out that much. Maybe in the winter, but I would definitely keep a shadow. Yeah, I'm definitely not a beard person. I mean, his doesn't look bad. It's very, it's well manicured. Like John's look nappy, and I hope you watch it. John's beard looks nappy. <laughs> Street art, 
flame, the dull and all shame. Drugs, sex, and Polaroids. Pick a star in the sky, we can both say goodbye. Child with this basket, like she is about to. Hey, I just like carrying a thing, but I need help finding a natural blood, sweat, and tears making this girl's senior crown. Thanks to Kennedy with this bow on the back because she almost in that bow. Who's basic? <laughs> Who's basic? So I pull up and this is what I see in the parking lot. The girls are here. There's Tay, there's Ray, there's Cam and AJ. The Fab Four. First day of school, new classroom. Get into it. She's in the house. Room smelling good. Why they bring me more? See, this is the foolishness that they try to ruin your day. Now, when I left, these were not here. My books are over here. Why'd you bring me more books? She wants to know. Why are you trying to ruin my first day? This is why you come in early on your first day. Just in case folk try to try your gangster. They trying to try your girl's gangster. But I should not be moved. Let me get set up. Mm -hmm.